For you that have uh, followed my endeavors with uh, this engine, you know that I've been struggling with uh, leaking coolant into the oil. So uh, I have been, um, that has spoiled more or less uh, the total of the season 2015. Uh, and I'm still not uh, having the finger on the, the primary cause of the leakage. Could be the head gasket, could be uh, three or four other places into the engine. Uh, so by now I'm pretty fed up with guessing, so uh, now I'm trying to do a leakage test. Putting hot uh, engine coolant uh, through the engine, um, heating it up on the stove, pumping it with a, a drill pump and being able to, uh, to choke uh, the flow a little bit with this uh, valve to, uh, to get the pressure up into the system. And also adding uh, some um, uh, substance here that is uh, fluorescent. Uh, this is, uh, I think the active, active um, substance is called pyrenin. It's uh, costly. I tell you that, uh, but uh, when I've got it and uh, we perhaps, perhaps find um, the leakage, uh, then I can uh, detect it with an uh, UV light. I was told that uh, this um, fluorescent substance will uh, will will uh, glow uh, a lot when when put into water. So I thought I'd document it for you guys as well so to see if uh, if it's true. This is only 0 0.15 grams. Uh, that's all it needs to get uh, a concentration concentration of um, 50. PPMs and this is three liters of water I have added in the system. Let's see what happens. Oh, looks like it's um, fluorescent enough. Hmm. Nice. So as you can hear, I have uh, revved up uh, the drill. Uh, for maximum flow and then I've uh, choked the valve so uh, I get some some pressure inside the system making sure it really leaks now when I have the opportunity there is a small leak here you can see it uh, with the naked eye even more so when adding uh, ultraviolet uh, light They're really close. So now I've uh, run it at um, 80 degrees for uh, some time uh, with a uh, little pressure as well. And as you can see, it's uh, dripping water from the oil sump. And uh, if it was any um, question where the water came from, you can see it is the fluorescent kind which is in uh, this case a uh, fabulous result. Now I'm uh, revving down, uh, opening um, the valve again so uh, water just can circulate and uh, the engine can cool down calmly. And, um, yeah, you know the UV light doesn't. Uh, it is really easy to detect whether you have a leakage or not. Well, there was nothing coming down from the cam chain tunnel. No, there is no signs here of uh, any water, but there is 
a trace here from within the crankcase going all the way back here and uh, leading into the gearbox and that's why it leaked out in uh, the oil plug drain so um, it's not coming from the cam chain tunnel it is uh, definitely from from within the crankcase well it seems uh, a little bit more obvious now that uh, the leakage is not uh, coming from the head gasket uh, it is uh, a, a leakage through the the o-rings or the surface here you can see there is uh, water, uh, signs of water in the ceiling area. You see the bottom down there, uh, also there. Um, so it's it's not uh, coming from uh, above. Also, you we can see that inside here there is no leakage, so there has not been a leakage uh, on the upper side going past the piston. So the o-rings and uh, the ceiling surface between uh, the, the two crankcase halves uh, more likely the leaking place.